Welcome back to OneStopTutorials.com. How you doing everyone? Good to see you back here. Right, here today we're going to be going over inserting our uh, table and image and text into our home page, into our index page. Now first things first, you need to go to that folder that you download from our website and double click on it. And inside of there, there's a folder that's called completed. If you double click on that, I need you to copy. So click on it, right click, copy the text folder and I need you to move it to our website this is the one we're working on and I need you just to paste it inside of here okay um, we're gonna be calling upon that now sorry I forgot to do that guys but guys and girls but if you can do that that would be great so just go to that completed copy the text move it into our website and we are ready to move okay I'm gonna delete this we don't need this no more and what I want to do is I want to add some another table in fact I want to add a few tables so I'm gonna to go to our layout panel here and choose table and I'm gonna to want to have we got four products we want one table at the top so yep five rows two columns that's fine table width 100 percent and I'm gonna want some padding here so border thickness zero padding let's put five for cell padding five for cell spacing we can always come and change this later and we're going to hit ok and there's our box so i just want to quickly show you how to merge two boxes together so let's say i wanted this box here to be one box okay simply left click and drag over to the second box come down to your page properties here and you'll notice that down here there says something that says row and there's a little square box here to merge it or this is to split so we just simply want to left click on the merge and you'll now notice that we've merged so next thing we want to do let's move this down so we get a bit more space we want to start adding our images to it now inside of this our inside of the files our website there's a folder called images and inside images you'll notice we've got Batman Grand Theft Auto Infamous and Madden we want to drag simply left click drag Batman into the cell and I'm going to call it Batman in our alt tag okay and there's Batman and we're going to do the same with Grand Theft Auto just simply left click drag it into the cell uh, Grand Theft Auto this is a good way good practice to get into naming your pictures dragging infamous into the next box if I can spell infamous and then finally dragging Madan into the last cell hitting OK I oh, didn't didn't name it sorry let me just quickly come to the click on the picture come to this old box and call it I'm just gonna call it Madden that's fine for these tutorials okay so we now have our pictures in next thing we want to do is we want to make a bit more space here to add our text so on side when you click in between the two cells you'll notice that the cursor changes okay two two arrows one left one right just hold down your left click and you can just drag the cell across okay and you can let go next we want to add our text and if we go to that folder that we just brought into Dreamweaver called text here it is here text we want to go to text home page and we got the text of each description of each um, product here. Uh, I use text files. I don't like word files. Uh, they word files have a tendency of sometimes leaving code. Text files is clean text, so I always use text files to um, to use text with inside a Dreamweaver. It's just clean text. So I'm gonna copy that. Go to Batman. So I double clicked on Batman text. It comes up in here. I can right click, copy, and then right click paste okay next one is Grand Theft Auto let's do the same I'm gonna grab the whole lot copy come back in the index right click paste and the next one is infamous copy it all right click copy Grand Theft uh, index paste and I'm gonna come to the last one which is Madden copy all this text and we're just going to paste it. You can do the shortcuts, Control C. In fact, that's what I normally do. And you'll notice we've got our text inside our home page now. So first things first, I just want to tie this up a bit. We've got a massive space here. So I'm going to click at the end of the full stop there. And I'm going to hit delete. It's going to bring the wording together. And anything else, I'm going to hit do the same here. Click at the end, hit delete, bring that up. Hit delete. Just cleaning our text up a bit. We it's It's being messed up a bit and 
Okay, so we've got it. If I just click on the bottom, in fact, we've got some space. I'm just going to delete, just click and delete, click the bottom, click the bottom, and it will come up. Right, so we've got our footage in, okay, and next we want to format our stuff here, okay. So uh, I actually, at the top of your, you've heard of Batman, just hit enter and then click at the top here. And I want to, um, I just want to type in Batman, okay, just keep it all the same. And by the way, if all your cells here end up but when you type, the text is typing from the middle. Um, remember what I showed you before, you can highlight all the tables here, come down to page properties and choose vertical and choose text to top. And that will move all the text to start typing at the top. So we've got our stuff here and now we just want to format it. So we want to make this Batman, we want to make it to our header one. Heading one, okay. Grand Theft Auto, heading one. Just so we can come in later and change it with our CSS, heading one. And Madden, heading one. And then for this, we want to make it paragraph. It's already paragraph. It's already paragraph, paragraph, paragraph. Okay, let's just bring that up. Okay, so we're looking pretty good. Let me just quickly preview this in the browser and see how we're looking I'll minimize it so you can see it and yeah we're looking pretty good now I actually think maybe we got a little bit too much padding and I also think maybe these are too big okay so we remember we can just go in and these were called these are heading one so if we go back to our styles okay under style sheet at the top here CSS if it's not there go to windows CSS and we want to go back to our heading one tag, double left click on heading H1. And we want to change the size of the font. Let's change it to an 18. And if I move this out of the way, we can have a look how it looks. Uh, hit apply. Yeah, I think, I think 18 is just a bit more, a bit more friendly. And you'll notice it did it to all of them. Okay. 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 So we're looking good. We're really looking good now. We've got our text in. Next what thing I want to do is I want to type in the top here. This is uh, some of our games. Okay, let's assign the class of heading one to that as well. Okay, so it's going to highlight over it and choose heading one. Okay, and there we go. And the last thing we want to do before we can just move on to the next page is that we want to insert the image that we had here on the left we want to go back to our website images banner left and in fact I'm going to show you a different way of inserting it because you know the drag way I must well show you another way if you click inside this cell box you come back down to insert image this menu will pop up we want to choose the image banner left okay and we want to choose okay and we're going to name this uh, banner special hit OK and that is now put our banner into there and we can click above it coming soon okay and we're gonna make that into an H2 heading 2 tag okay heading 2 click on heading 2 and in the next tutorial we'll come and format that to see what we want but we're done we, we've just inserted all our information now since we put that in, there's a little bit of spacage caused here, just again click at the end, hit delete on your keyboard and we'll just tidy it up a bit. So let's have a quick preview at the final home page. There we go, look at that. We've got a footer in, we've got a text in, we've got our H1s in, uh, we've got a menu in. We're going to change coming soon in CSS next tutorial. That's it for this tutorial. Any questions, please let me know. Subscribe to my YouTube or check out my website. Take it easy, guys and girls. See you at the next one-stop tutorials. Laters.